to another How to Draw. I'm Brooke and this is Carter. Carter. Carter, we're getting in the Halloween spirit. So what are we drawing today? A haunted house. A haunted house. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. All right, we're going to get started over here just a little ways from the edge of our paper and we're just going to draw a diagonal line coming in just a little bit. Other side, same thing. We're just going to start a little higher, but we're going to bring that diagonal in just a slight bit. All right, coming over to this side, let's just connect these two bottom lines. Now coming up here to the top line, we're going to start just a little bit past that line and we're going to make a straight line across that stops about here. Good. Now coming just a little bit above it, right about here we're going to draw a diagonal that comes down to meet up with this line. Same thing on this side, starting above it a little bit in. We're going to make a diagonal going out to meet up with this line here. That works. And then right across the top, let's just connect those two lines. Let's come down here just inside this corner and we're just going to draw a line coming straight down and it doesn't have to be too long. Now let's come back up on our diagonal right here and right in the middle of that diagonal we're going to start a line that's just going to curve up going in and out. Perfect. Starting just outside that line, we're going to draw a straight line across. Again, not too long. Good. Now let's start just inside that line and we're going to do another curved line that goes in and back out. You can make it about the same length as the other side. Now coming up top here, up in the middle of this line, we're going to start up above it and we're just going to draw a diagonal over. We're going to start at the top of that diagonal and draw another diagonal coming down to the other side. Now up on top of that point, we're just going to draw a line coming straight up. And then we're going to draw a little line across. Perfect. Now we're going to start just above the bottom of this line. We're going to get started and draw a curved line and it's going to come over and up. From the top of that, we're just going to draw a line that curves down and out. But this line is going to be quite a bit shorter. Good. Now let's start a little bit outside of that line and we're going to draw a diagonal coming down, just touching that line and we're going to keep going right past it. At the top of that diagonal, let's draw a short line that goes straight sideways. From there, we're going to draw a diagonal that comes out almost to the edge of our paper. Now let's connect these bottom two points.
Coming back to the top right in the middle of this line, we're going to draw a little line going straight up and down. And towards the top, a little line coming across. Good. Now starting out here towards this point, we're just going to come off this line with a line that comes straight down. And then from the bottom of that line, we're just going to curve back up to touch this line up here. Now let's come back up here and we're just going to draw a short line that goes straight from this point. Good. And then a little tiny line sideways making a point right there. All right, let's come down here and we're just going to draw a curved line that meets up right here at the bottom, just to the side of center. Good. Then on the other side of center, we're going to draw another line that just has a slight curve to it, almost straight up and down. Good. Starting at the top of this line over here, we're just going to draw a little line going sideways. From there, we're just going to curve it back to touch this line over here. From there, we're going to draw another curve that just comes over and up, and it should finish about the same height. These two lines right here, we're just going to connect the tops straight across. All right, from this curve right here, we're just going to draw a big loop that comes up and over and comes back down right over here. This is going to be our ghost, but we're just going to draw two black dots that are going to be eyes. Then we're going to draw a big oval to be his mouth. Coming out here, we're just going to give him some arms. So we're going to start here and curve up and around and bring it back down just below. Same thing on the other side. You just start right about here and curve it up and around and bring it back down to connect. Now out here, we're going to draw a line coming straight down. Same thing on the other side, about the same length. We're going to draw another line coming straight down. Now let's connect those two lines on top. And we'll connect those two lines on the bottom as well. To help this look even more like a window, we're going to draw a line going up and down. And we can make it a little bit thicker. Good. Just like that. And now we're going to do the same thing across. Just drawing a little bit thicker line going across. All right, up here, we're going to draw a big circle right up here, and we don't want it to quite touch any of the other lines. Now, 
Then we're going to draw a line straight up and down right in the middle of that circle. And another line straight across. And we can make those a little thicker as well. Let's come back over here and we're going to do another line that's up and down. Over on this side, another line straight up and down. Let's go ahead and connect those two at the top. And let's connect those two lines at the bottom. Let's draw our line straight up and down. And we're going to draw our line that comes straight across. One more over here. We're going to draw just a short line. Then we'll come in here and draw the other side, another short line. And let's connect those on top. And we also want to, yep, you're good. We want to connect those on the bottom. Let's draw a line straight up and down. It's just a short one. And now we've got that longer line coming all the way across, right in the middle. All right, we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and come down here and we're going to draw another line coming down. Then we're going to draw the other side over here. And then we're going to connect those on top and connect those on the bottom as well. Let's go ahead and draw a line straight down the center. And we need that line across. All right, over in the corner up here, we're going to draw a diagonal coming down. From that same corner, we're going to draw another diagonal right over here to the middle of this line. And we'll do one more that comes down right here to the middle of this line. Now from the side, we're going to draw a curve coming down. And then from that point, we're going to draw another little curve that goes up and down. From there, we're going to draw another curve coming up to this line. And from there, we'll draw another curve that just comes up to meet with the line on top. Oh, you guessed it. We're making a spider web. Let's start on the edge and draw a little curved line to here. And let's make another little curve right here. Another curve right in between these two lines. And let's finish it off by connecting to this side. Yep, right there. You got it. All right, let's come up here on the side of this line and we're just going to draw a big circle coming around all the way over to this side and we'll connect right over here. Yep, right about there. Nice, that's a good circle. That's going to be our moon. 
What flies in the sky during Halloween? Bats. So right over here, we're just gonna draw two little mountains that look like an M. And then we're gonna add two little mountains on the other side. Good. On this side over here, we're gonna draw a line straight up. Same thing on the other side, just a little line coming up. And then on the top, we're just gonna start over here and curve down to the middle point. And same thing on the other side, curve it down and touch it right to that middle point. And then right in the middle, we're just gonna draw a little line coming up that's gonna be the head. And then we just color that in. And look at that, we've got a bat. Let's draw another one. Let's draw another one down here. So we're gonna start with our M, or two little mountains. Wherever you want, right there is great. And then we come back in and draw another M. Let's draw a line coming up on each side. From the outside point, let's draw a line coming down to center and a little line in the middle coming up to make his head, and we color it in. All right, one more bat. I'm gonna put mine up here. I'm gonna have him coming across my moon. So I'm gonna draw my little M right here. Then from that point, I'm gonna draw another M. You can go ahead and start on yours. We'll have those lines go straight up. A little line in the middle and color it in. You got this. Oh, that was looking cool. We got three spooky bats flying over our haunted house. All right, I think we're at that point where we get to start coloring. Let's go ahead and speed this part up. Mansions turn out amazing. We'll see you again next time for another How to Draw.